Okay, we just installed the new solid state drive in our Lenovo IdeaPad 330S here. And now with my flash drive, I made this using the Microsoft Media Creation Tool for Windows 10. We're going to boot off of that and do a fresh install of Windows 10 1809 edition. We'll put that in the flash drive or in the USB port. Turn on the laptop. Hit F12. There's our, to get our boot menu, there's our flash drive. There's what we want, English, U.S. Install now. Accept the terms, custom, there's our SSD, hit next, let that go. Skip that. Now let's get you connected to a network. Go we'll connect to my Wi-Fi. Updates. Now type your credentials. This particular model doesn't have Ethernet, so we're going to use the 5G Wi-Fi. Mission accomplished. Now we have some important setup to do. We're going to do an offline account. We don't want a Microsoft account right now. Type what you want to name your account. Yeah, I'll just put user. You can change this later. Okay, now type a no password. Hey, look, that's me. We'll decline Cortana for right now. Again, you can change all this stuff later in settings. Go ahead and review them and select accept when you're ready. I'd like to turn all this stuff off or hit no, except for location. Just a privacy issue for me. Accept. Now once it's in Windows. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Once we're, forward to helping out. Once we're in Windows, I'll get all the Windows updates, and I like to go to Lenovo's website and download a few things, Intel items to install, and we'll be all set. Throw a couple of browsers on it, and it'll be working great. I hope this videos helpful for you. So let me take a minute.
and there we go. So like I said, the first thing I always do, get it out of the way, is go get some Windows updates. The first round here, there's usually like two rounds of updates. So we'll do that, and then we'll be all set. Like I said, I hope the video was helpful. Thanks for watching.